Hello everybody, it is uh, Hippa Dippin' here today and I wanted to show you guys a really, really fun UU battle I had. Um, despite what you may look at the score, it was actually a very, very good game. And uh, a lot of my Pokemon did play a part, in fact, all of my Pokemon did play a part. Very, it was very fun. Uh, I enjoyed it a whole lot and uh, this guy was very good. So uh, let's go ahead and watch the replay. I lead off with Steadfast, expecting either Chestnut or, um, you know, something that uh, Steadfast could have handled. And I end up, he ends up switching into his Murkrow. And I have seen these Murkrows put in work. Um, let me tell you, I have seen them do their thing. And they are very, very, um, they're good. They're underrated, to be honest. Granted, they're not the best prankster user, but uh, let me tell you, man, they are pretty good. If you slap an Eevee light on there, they can do, they can do work. Uh, let's just say that. He goes out into Diancie, and I had to look up the data for Diancie just because I wasn't sure what it was, and um, it's not great. That's for sure. Uh, I mean, for my side, his Diancie is very powerful. Anyway, it goes for a Moonblast, and that does a lot for a, uh, an Assault Vest. Oh man, if I had not had that Assault Vest, ooh, I'd be in a lot more trouble than I am right now. Anyway, he tries to go for Leech Seed here, and it doesn't even work for him, and it's kind of unfortunate. Anyway, he starts to set up his Spikes. I go for the Burn just to wear him down a little bit more. Uh, any sort of damage on a Chestnut is good. Uh, I do have two Pokemon that absolutely wall him, though, and that is Knight. Not wall him. Well, yeah, wall him. I have a uh, knight and uh, trevenant, and uh, yeah, so that's kind of cool. Anyway, I defog all of his hazards. He goes out into Nido Queen. I make the switch out into Crocodile, predicting him to set up his rocks again, and uh, he indeed does that. Now I expected um, the Murkrow to come out uh, because Earthquake was very obvious, and uh, granted the Chestnut. I totally forgot about the Chestnut. The Chestnut could have came in anyway. And uh, it did, so. Yeah, I found out that these chestnuts are quite hard to meander around. But uh, regardless, regardless, this guy's got a very, very defensive team now that I'm looking at it. Pretty much um, four and a half defensive Pokemon. And I say that because Murkrow can be defensive. But um, anyway, he taunts me here. I tried to go for Roost, uh, so that kind of stinks. But anyway, I go for Brave Bird here and it absolutely bops him. Murkrow is no issue. No issue whatsoever. Anyway, I let the Corkfish kill me with an Aqua Jet. It wasn't worth any letting anything else take um, take the Stealth Rock damage, so whatever. I don't really need Crobat anymore. Despite him walling uh, Chestnut, you know, if I would have switched him out, I he would have died upon re-entry, so really wasn't worth it. Anyway, I go for a rest here, and um, I realize he's just going to set up more spikes. And uh, wanting to prevent that, I switch out into Known, and uh, here I pop him with a uh, Psy Shot. And uh, Known actually takes out quite a few Pokemon here. Takes out Blissey, and uh, Blissey does not appreciate a Psy Shot, let me tell you. Uh, he goes for Hyper Voice. It does actually a lot. I never would have expected that much damage from my uh, Blissey. I predict the um, uh, Aqua Jet here from the Corkfish and go out into Bruce, my Sharpedo, Mega Sharpedo. I can take another one and uh, he wants to hit me with another one anyway. And uh, yeah, I go ahead and get the Speed Boost, which is very, very appreciated. And here I felt so sorry for this guy. I mean, <laughs> granted I would have won anyway, but I feel really bad about getting the Freeze on the Ice Fang. Um, so I am very, very sorry about that. And. Uh, Regardless, you know, it's just nice to show off Sharpedo action, but yeah, that, that freeze did really ruin him in the end, so I am very sorry about that. Anyway, our rating goes up to 1206, and uh, yeah, I'm really happy about that. I did some practicing, and uh, this just happened to be one of the better matches I've come across. Um, very fun. I really enjoyed it, and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. There were definitely plays being made, and... Um, you know, it was a really good game, really good game, really seems like a nice guy. But uh, anyway, I'm Hippie Dippin', and if you guys enjoyed the video, uh, please leave a like, a rating, and uh, go ahead and uh, subscribe. So, if you guys uh, like the video, I'll see you later. <laughs> Thanks, tune in for more, I appreciate it. Bye-bye.